Okay guys, now before we get into this video, I wanted to uh, give an explanation and an apology for all you guys who are waiting for that Hybo Steed versus Suranoia XF50 field battle. Uh, what happened was that I only had one day before I was to head out of town and visit my cousin and give him the rod and reel combo. And that one day that I went out to the field to try to do the test, it was so windy that it really made it impossible to get any kind of real accurate results. So of course what I did is I went online and went back on AliExpress and I ordered another Hybo Steed in right hand version this time. And also um, another rod which I'll show you guys. And they're on their way to me right now. And if you've ever ordered anything from AliExpress you know it takes at least two to three weeks if not a month to get your items if you are using their free shipping option. So uh, hopefully they'll be with me soon so I can get that test done for you guys. Okay, so let's get to this video here. Now I've already done the field testing. I've already shot that footage. And I did want to let you guys know that uh, I am switching over to a GoPro 6. And the sound quality of the 6 is really really bad compared to the 4 that I was using but the video quality is a lot better so just uh, bear with me on that sound uh, maybe I'll get an external mic set up sometime soon okay so the purpose of this test was of course to see if the new Aldebaran 30 can beat the subscriber reel Daiwa SS SV throwing the weightless fluke and while I was out there I was going to also put the 30 MGL against the model that it's going to replace the 50 in the quarter ounce casting plug test to see if it could um, beat this in that particular test so let's get to the field footage Okay guys, I am finally able to get out here with the Aldebaran 30 and do some field measurements. And the first test is going to be against the SSSV throwing the fluke. Now I have the internal brakes set to 3 and the external brakes set to about 2, 2 and a quarter, not quite 2 and a half. And I got spool tension set to minimize the side to side play. And I'm using a slightly different rod than the last test. I'm using a six foot six Demicki uh, medium. And I'm doing that for a reason, which I'll get into later. Okay, so here we go. One twenty five feet four inches. Hundred twenty seven feet even. Hundred nineteen feet seven inches. Hundred twenty two feet three inches. Hundred thirty one feet even. Okay, guys, next up we have the Daiwa SS Air. I have the spool tension set to just minimize the side to side play, and I backed it off a little bit so there's just a little bit of wiggle in the spool. And the external brake is on between four and five, so I guess that's nine. 
and of course we are throwing the weightless fluke. Here we go. Under one feet, three inches. Under three feet, six inches. One eleven feet, six inches. One hundred two feet even. One hundred feet five inches. Okay, guys, so as you can see, I was unable to do the Aldebaran thirty versus Aldebaran fifty quarter ounce plug test, and what had happened was the way that I was going to try to save some time was I was going to throw the fluke and the quarter ounce plug back to back with the Aldebaran 30 and then I was going to go ahead and throw the fluke with the SSSV and then throw the quarter ounce plug with the Aldebaran 50 but as you can see um, somehow some a hurricane just came out of nowhere and snuck up on me and uh, cut that short. So basically the only footage I was able to get was the 30 and the SSSV throwing the fluke. So the 30 versus the 50 is gonna have to come at a later time. Okay, so as we can see by these results, which I'm gonna post up here, the new Aldebaran 30 MGL just basically smoked the SSSV. The 30 MGL averaged 125 feet even, while the SSSV gave a disappointing 103.8 feet average with the fluke. Now, in the previous test, you're probably wondering why in the previous test this did so well as it averaged 116 feet. And I can tell you why. Um, today was less windy, there's a lot less wind, and I was using a shorter rod. The previous rod I was using was six foot ten, while today I was using a six foot six. So it probably was a big contributor as to why the distance for the SSSV was so short. And because there was less wind, I was not able to go as low on the brakes as I was previously. So yeah for the subscriber um, it looks like the new 30 MGL um, definitely beats out the SSSV in distance by got almost five yards or almost uh, actually over five yards almost seven yards so I've actually taken the Aldebaran 30 out fishing <laughs> several times already caught a few bass and yeah, there's a lot to say about these uh, new brakes and the new spool, which I'm going to get to in another video. But uh, one thing I will say to the subscriber is that I would not throw anything super heavy with this Aldebaran 30 because line capacity is going to become an issue. When I was throwing that uh, quarter ounce casting plug, I was almost spooling all the line off of this thing. So this thing is a monster caster, but it has very little line capacity if you're wanting to throw anything really, really heavy and need bigger line. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the Aldebaran 30 out fishing and show you guys, give you guys a little bit insight on how this thing fishes. And of course, I'm gonna try to see if I can get the field test done to see if it can actually outcast its 
older brother. Now, I've mentioned line capacity before. Now, don't quote me on this, but I think I may have read somewhere or heard somewhere that Shimano may be coming out with a new Aldebaran 50 MGL, which gives us a little bit more line capacity than the JDM 30 version. Like I said, don't quote me. It's just a rumor. Um, but if I find out more information on that, then I will let you guys know. But as it stands, looks like the Aldebaran 30 MGL is the far superior distance caster than the Daiwa SS SV. So I'm going to send this reel back to the subscriber. I want to thank you for letting me use it. And also, just want to let you guys know that I was going to put this up against the Tatula SV, but I have. Um, Another a couple of other reels coming in that would be a better test against the Tatula SV. All right, guys, thanks a lot.